So guys, have you ever had this situation that I've got right here? You feel like you played the perfect play. Coming up to a green here, the only place that you want to miss it is the perfect spot here, just short of the green, leaving an easy chip. But you're coming up to a shot and you're thinking, am I ever gonna, am I gonna duff this? Or am I gonna miss strike it? You know, we surely all have these thoughts go through our mind. And I'm really pretty confident with my short game and really feel very, very comfortable chipping. But even I'm not that comfortable sometimes coming into a shot like this. Because sometimes it's that mental process that you end up talking yourself into a bad shot. Well, how can we overcome this mental process that is gonna mean and guarantee that I get a good strike? The thought process is going to be even worse at this time of year as, as we can see, it's quite wet around the green and strike and contact point is the most difficult to guarantee just because of the ground conditions being so wet and so inconsistent. So what we're going to have a look at here is, okay, how can I make sure that I land the ball up over, over, the, over the fringe here, up onto the green and just let it release a little bit? It's in a very certain little bottom here. Obviously, it will just run down this slope back down a little bit. But when you go to play this shot, you get a lot of people trying to get the ball back, the hands forward, and then looking at getting it to strike it with this leading edge. But the problem is, this is the one time that I might duff it, because you can see here, it's the time it's going to stick. So if I actually get that and it sticks in the floor a little bit, the chances of either the ball exploding off the face and going miles or me really just chunking it and going no distance is at its greatest. So what we're going to look at though is how we can use the length of the sole. But normally we'd associate the bounce as a skimming action. Okay, but I can see here that because it's so wet, it fit out in my mind I'm thinking, well, I might kind of splash shot it a little bit just because of how soft the ground is. So what am I going to do to guarantee I get this good solid strike? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself near to the ball, raise the handle upwards, okay, and get the club more in line with my forearms. What this will mean is it takes the wrist action out of the shot, okay, and it means that it's much easier to get a shallow bottom. It's like a long putting stroke, and we can see here that I'm very shallow across the floor. The club isn't digging, and it's going to be really easy to get that good contact point. So I'm just gonna try and make sure the club is up in line with the forearms, and then I just use the shoulders on the way through. So I'm gonna pick my landing spot, and my most important point here is to get that contact. So I'm gonna just make sure that I just use this here, getting those shoulders, and if I get the hands lower, I get more wrists. Whereas if I get it higher, I take the wrists out of play. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna stand a bit closer to it. Obviously, I'm gonna have to put quite a bit of body energy into this because I've not got any wrist angle. Okay, and then I'm gonna try and get the feeling now from here of just using those shoulders to make sure that the club just slides through and doesn't dig. So just get this body moving through. Not a bad little shot there, it came off nice and soft, and it's come up maybe about two feet away right there. But the club has slid along the floor. It's slid, it's not dug in, it's allowed itself to slide and it slid a lot easier just using the handle being higher. We can see right here that the outcome of the shot's been pretty good. Fairly makeable little tapping putt there. Be disappointed if you miss that type of putt. So, to guarantee the contact in these short shots, you need to make sure you aren't relying on the leading edge and take the hands out of the shot. So stand nearer to the ball, raise the handle up. That will mean that you get a much more consistent contact. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Thanks for watching and talk with you again very soon.